the recording start is pretty slow. Okay, here we go. Right. So, uh, good evening. This is Macken's 3CO3, or is also cross-listed with Man Tech 3MF3. Okay. And this is uh, week one, right? Uh, can you all see my handwriting? Is it clear? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay, so it's clear. So, so the agenda for today is we're going to go for course outline, and then uh, we're going to talk about introduction to manufacturing. Then we're going to go into uh, material mechanical behavior. Okay. So before we go on, uh, the term test, uh, put this down in, on your calendar, is on uh, February twenty fifth, and on that day. It is the week after the reading week. Okay, the week after the reading week, all your lectures will be done uh, in synchronous manner, like now. Okay, and what else? Uh, all your lectures will be uploaded into YouTube for you to assess them through Avenue to Learn. So you go into Avenue to Learn. You can click on the link. You have immediately go onto the YouTube and you can see your lectures. And all the lectures note will also be uploaded on Avenue uh, to Learn. Okay, so whatever I write down here or whatever you write, I will still upload on uh, Avenue uh, to Learn. Okay, so let's look at uh, assessment. Okay, let's talk about assessment. So, assessment, you're going to have. Uh, Four assignments. And this is worth 10%. And it's going to be marked based on whether you complete the assignment or not. Okay, so what do I mean by complete the assignments? If there are 10 questions, you do all 10 questions, you get full mark. Okay, I'm not going to, we're not going to mark them. Okay, you, you just need to focus on, on, uh, uh, doing them so as that's what I mean by based on completion. Okay, sorry, I'm still letting people into the the. Then you have a uh, term test. Okay, so the term test over here is worth forty percent, and then you have your exam to be. 50%. Okay, so that is the great distribution. So uh, before we go any further, I will describe to you what your term test is like and your final exam. So your term test and final exam will have the same format. So this is week one and until week, I think the way I plan your course the content until week five okay i will test this for term test one then you have week seven because week six is your is your uh your the term test so week seven sorry week seven until week 12 i hope i can get a week 12 Okay, whatever over here will be in your final exam. Okay, so it does not mean you can forget what you learned in week one because there's some content that I need to use in the final, that you will need to use in the final exam. Okay, so the, 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 the format will be, uh, you will have uh, for the term test and final, the, the format is going to be uh, the same. What do I mean? The format is going to be the same in the sense that uh, you're going to have uh, 20. Uh, excuse me? Yes. Uh, there's a one student messaging. He don't have access to the class in the chat. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm accepting students now. Okay, is it he's in the chat? Yeah, he's 
so depressed. Can can someone talk to him, please? No, sir. I got in. Thank you. Oh, you got in. Okay, that time you got in. No, you cheeky sort. <laughs> Welcome. Okay. Yes. I think it's week eight, not week seven. Uh, because I I I consider reading week as not a week. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna have twenty multiple choice and two long questions. Okay. So this is worth forty marks, and this is also worth forty marks. Okay. Okay, so that's how. Uh, so the format will be the same. So let me talk to you about your. Probably you guys have heard about uh, the horrendous multiple choice. Am I right? Okay. So the multiple choice you will have uh, A, B, C, D, or E, which is none of the above. Okay, so E is the none of the above. So the possibilities Okay, the possibilities you can have uh, one correct answer, you can have two correct answer, or you can have four correct answers. Okay, or four correct answers. So why I make this way, so uh, you have to really know your work and sharing information is restricted. I've caught students cheating and how I keep, how I caught them cheating is not based on their correct answer. It's based on they make the same wrong answer. OK, so that's the nature now of online teaching, uh, online testing is student will collaborate. OK, fine. OK. But if, if, if you're going to collaborate, you make sure that your answers are all right. And there is no way that I can catch you if your answer is all right. I can only catch you if you all or some of you get your answers wrong. Okay, That's the only way I can tell whether you are collaborating or not. And in that sense, I'm not going to proctor your exams at all. Okay, You, you are already going into uh, so much stress. Okay, proctoring will add more stress onto you. Uh, why bother? There you go. Okay, so how do I mark? Okay, how do we mark on on this? Okay, so if the correct answer is A, okay. So let's let's go through this once and for all. If the correct answer is A, okay. So you you see down here, A is a correct answer, and you have selected A, right? You get two marks. Okay, that, that 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 is obvious one. However, if you select A and B, right, you only get one mark. Okay, why is that? Is because you put a, a one mark bet here and you put a one mark betting. It's like betting, you know, stock market. You're betting, yes or no, right? So this one is correct. That's why you get uh uh, uh one mark. So you can also have Four. So you basically distribute your marks 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0.5, and over here you only get 0 0.5. Okay. So I have some students. Okay. They 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 put all four like that. Okay. It, it's not going to help. Okay. The best mark you can get is about seven or even less. Okay. So don't 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 do that. Or if you do this. OK, if you do this, right, how many marks you got? Anyone? So you got one mark here, you got one mark here. Any idea how, how many marks you'll get? Anyone? Hello? Zero, zero marks? Yeah, zero! <laughs> right? If you put, I don't know, you know, or you don't know. OK, that's my problem. OK, so that's how. Is going to be marked. You will not get a negative score, by the way. Okay, my my multiple choice is worth forty marks. You will not get. Some students are worried. Will I get a minus five? The answer is no. You will not get a minus five. So I'll I'll, I'll track on another 
example, yeah, I'll try another example. Let's say A, okay, let's say for this time, A and B are the correct answers. Okay, so if the student uh, pick, if, 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 if the answer pick is only one correct answer, okay, because this is weight one, this is weight one, the student put two marks here, there's another one missing, so you only have one. However, if the student choose one, two, three, okay, so basically you get zero. Why you get zero? Because now I'm informing you that you can only have one correct answer, two correct answers, or what? Four correct answers. You cannot have three, okay, so don't choose three. So what if a particular student put one, two, three, four, so he distribute all of them, okay, all 0.5 a mark. So the student or you will be awarded one mark. There you go. Okay. So why no three? I cannot divide the marks if you have put three correct answers. So or it's impossible to have three correct answers. So this is how the multiple choice will be. Now the long questions will be from your assignments. Okay. With a little bit of twitch. Okay. So if you can do your assignments, uh, you should be fine. Okay. Now, coming back to here, let's talk about now you know how this is going to be tested. What do you think about your uh, assessment weightage? Anyone? Do you want to give us more on the assignments? <laughs> uh, no, assignments, unfortunately, is fixed at 10%. Why is that? It's because it's based on completion. Once you have complete, you get the marks. I cannot uh, put more marks over there. How about this two? Anyone? Uh, sir, can you make it so the highest mark gets the most weight? Okay, so okay, so when there's a case, okay, the lower mark will be forty percent. The higher will be what? The higher grade will be fifty percent. How's that? Hello. Are we allowed to change the percentages of that, or is it set forty and fifty? Say it again. Are we allowed to change the percentage like like 60 30 or like 70 20 or is it set at like 50 40? Chicky sort which department are you from? M me? Yeah. I'm from the engineering, like mechanical. I mean, mechanical engineering. Mechanical uh, chicky sort. So someone have told you my tricks. Okay, what do you want? <laughs> I mean, uh, we could. I'm, I want to hear what the class has to say, but like if we do 70 20. 20. Yeah, 70 20 is like the best, and I like the highest mark goes to 70. And then the lowest is the 20. I mean, that works in our favor, you know? So when there's a case after term test, holiday, woo, right? <laughs> no, never Eugene. No, oh, yeah, woo, holiday. No, I can't do that. Okay, okay, I'll tell you what. I am a man of flexibility. Okay, how about this? You, we, we do this uh, 35, and then we do this uh, 55. How's that? 30 would be better. Huh? Sounds good, no. I mean, 30, 60, you know, like 20, 70 was like the ideal situation. But if you could do 30, 60, like, I think I can accept that. Like, we could have a vote in the class and who'd rather have 20. No, <laughs> come on. You cannot have vote in the class, you cheeky sort. Come on, okay? I, I mean, I, 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 I like to have some, like, like why, why I'm doing this? Because I, I need to have some... Uh, some ways to to evaluate you in the sense that if you are a student i can vouch for you okay if i go higher everyone get a okay that's where i'm not against everyone get a if you are good you get a i have no problem okay so i i need to have that classification okay so let me tell you what's the best i could do the best i could do this this is this is this is the best okay i cannot do anymore okay so 30 and 60, how's that? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. So, good. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so I don't want you to be too stressed, okay? So your higher marks will be worth 60%, and your lower marks will be worth 30%. So this is the exactly the same. I've taught this course in the fall term. This is the exact weightage, and the class average, Anyone want to guess? For last term, anyone? 
77. With this, with, with this, the class average was what? Anyone would guess? 85. It was still a C plus class average. Okay. Okay, so the class average was still a C.